on the Natural Resources Committee. We were excited to extend the Pure Michigan program and actually last year uh, brought in the committee to try out the Muskegon Luge. And I, uh, I told uh, Senator Hansen and uh, uh, the others that were coming, you really need to bring your equipment. We need to go down the luge and demonstrate um, what Michigan is all about and how much fun it is. And so we did do that. You may have seen it in the newspaper. Actually, Senator Hansen uh, was photographed uh, going down the luge. He went down first. I went down second. We actually had a contest. Um, but uh, and I won in the women's division. <laughs> I was the only woman that went down. But uh, anyway, we did bring our chairman over, who is actually uh, 25 years old. Chair uh, chairman Frank Foster. So I went to Frank and I said, Frank, look, I think it would be great. We'd get a lot of media if you actually went down the luge with us as chairman of the Natural Resources Committee. He says, sure, no problem. It was very successful. We got a lot of press out of it. We're excited about the Pure Michigan ads. They've actually won national awards. Uh, and, of course, Tim Allen from Tool Time, uh, for those of you that are around with Tool Time, and it, every time you see those ads, if you're like me, it, you just melt and you feel relaxed. And wow, we've got a really great place that we live and work in. So we're lucky to be here, and we're lucky to have Tim Allen uh, with that whole program for Pure Michigan. For every dollar we spend, we get a multiple back. And uh, tourism is one of our largest industries uh, here in the state of Michigan, along with agriculture. So we're excited about uh, that Pure Michigan program. Also had uh, a bill to increase the deduction for family of four, a thousand dollar deduction. We also reduced the income tax that affected everybody. We continue to work on tax issues, got rid of the Michigan business tax, also balanced the budget two years in a row. First time last year was, it's been since the 1960s that we actually balanced the budget ahead of schedule. And that's very important to do so schools and government know what budgets they have to work with. We continue to work really hard on those kinds of issues. Also worked on the Pivraki uh, bus bill. We passed a bill out of committee that will make buses safer with a, a better kind of light uh, in, on the back of the bus. We also just passed 100% uh, free hunting and fishing for 100% disabled veterans. That passed the House yesterday and it's up for the governor's sign as well. We also passed uh, this just yesterday, the Promise Zone cleanup bill so that more disadvantaged students are able to go to college. There was a cleanup bill that we needed to do so that they could start raising money and make sure that some of our students can go to college for the first time ever. We have about in the high teens uh, people who have actually graduated from college in Muskegon County. In the 2009 study, it was actually 13.4 percent were college educated in Muskegon County. So we'd like to raise that rate. Uh, we hope that the Promise Zone changes will make it possible for that committee to start raising money and start making a difference uh, in higher ed, which will help with jobs ultimately. You're more likely to have a, uh, a job if you get your college education, according to Lee Coggin from Baker College, he uh, said he had cited some statistics about what they were doing at Baker College and that they were placing 97% of their students in the last two years. They've had record student enrollment. They're up to 1,000 students now, which is awesome. And of course, from the culinary school, there's 100% uh, placed in jobs. So that's really exciting for Muskegon County. We have some exciting and wonderful things here. We think of ourselves as an underdog, but we're actually a leader in many areas like Access Health or the Muskegon Vet Center itself. Dave Ealing is absolutely awesome and the people that work at the Vet Center and the VA, they process more people in Muskegon County than they do in Kent County or Ottawa County. We should be proud of that. I have actually taken Dave Ealing to talk to the governor's uh, senior advisor. I brought him in front of two joint committees because Muskegon actually is a model to be able to help our vets at a really inexpensive cost. So we're really excited about what's happening in Muskegon and how 
we can be an example for those in Lansing for the rest of the state.